sluggish, stupid, and ponderous. From the late 19th century, through the early 20th century, this was the widespread perception of dinosaurs. However, paleontologist John Ostrom, discovered the remains of a small dinosaur, in Montana in 1964, which did not fit the conventional description. This finding ushered in what is now known, as the dinosaur renaissance. A scientific revolution, that dramatically transformed our understanding of these creatures. The remnants of a small carnivore with hollow bones, a sleek, horizontal posture, and a pair of huge, sickle-shaped claws on its feet, were discovered by Ostrom. The new find was given the name Denonychus, which means awful claw, by the paleontologist, who described their genus in the late 1960s. The animal's various bird-like traits, he claimed, indicated that it was an energetic, fast-moving predator. This animal had to be warm-blooded, like modern birds and mammals, to be a fast and energetic hunter. Ostrom's ideas sparked a controversy, between scientists who believed dinosaurs were slow, cold-blooded reptiles, and others who believed they were active, warm-blooded creatures. Through Ostrom's pupil, paleontologist Robert Backer, Ostrom's hypothesis of active, warm-blooded dinosaurs, gradually gained traction, in both the scientific community, and popular culture. The dinosaur renaissance ushered in a paradigm shift, in practically every element of dinosaur biology. It also changed the way, these creatures were depicted in popular culture. Backer's ideas impacted the film Jurassic Park, which was released in 1993. In comparison to the tail-dragging monsters we'd seen in prior pictures, the dinosaurs in this film were clever, fast-moving, and graceful creatures. Jurassic Park's success helped popularize the concept of a dinosaur renaissance, inspiring many young people to seek a career in paleontology. Deinonychus was also immortalized in popular culture thanks to the film. Despite the fact that the movie's nasty sickle-clawed predators are dubbed Velociraptors, they are based on Deinonychus. The real-life Velociraptor mongoliensis was roughly the size of a turkey, considerably smaller than its North American relative. Despite their excellent intentions, Jurassic Park's raptors are fairly wrong in paleontological terms today. Deinonychus could reach a length of 3.4 meters, and stood 0.87 meters tall at the hip. It weighed around 73 kilograms. The Jurassic Park version is a bit larger, with a height of 1.68 to 1.83 meters, and a length of up to 4 meters. Deinonychus belonged to the Dromaeosauridae family, which included small to medium-sized feathered predators that thrived during the Cretaceous period. That's right, Deinonychus and its relatives were completely feathered. The Jurassic Park raptors, on the other hand, have scaly, reptilian-like skin. Furthermore, a recent study of Deinonychus teeth revealed that raptorial dinosaurs did not hunt in large, coordinated packs, as depicted in the film. Despite its widespread acceptance, evidence supporting this behavior is limited. Paleontologists have offered a model for dromaeosaur, that is more like Komodo dragons, in which members of the same species may attack the same animal, but cooperation is limited. Real-life dromaeosaurids were probably just about as smart as your backyard opossum in terms of intelligence. It lived alongside the Ornithischian dinosaur Tenontosaurus, which was most likely its major prey. It coexisted alongside the massive, carnivore Acrocanthosaurus, the second largest predatory dinosaur, discovered in North America. In some areas, Deinonychus discovery was a watershed moment in paleontology. The agile predator, with its distinctive big, sickle-shaped foot claw, 
sparked a scientific revolution, and forever altered our understanding of dinosaurs. The so-called dinosaur renaissance, gave these creatures a new, invigorating image that the scientific community gradually accepted. However, many people have yet to accept the change. Nearly 51 years after Ostrom's discovery, obsolete assumptions about these animals endure, and the cultural meaning of the name dinosaur is still widely misinterpreted. Thanks for watching.